celebrate EMS week, we'd like to introduce you to the newest apparatus in our fleet, Medic 56. This ambulance is on a 2022 Ford F450 four-wheel drive chassis and is powered with a 7.3 liter gas engine. On the outside, it's wrapped with a new look to match our branding. And on the inside, it's equipped with a striker, power loader, and cot, and all of the tools needed to support both patient and responder safety. To give us a 360 tour of the ambulance, here's one of our paramedics from Station 6. All right, I'm Tyler Morris, a paramedic firefighter with Arvada Fire, and I'm here to show you the new ambulance that we have, Medic 56. So we'll start right here, passenger side. We do have our AVL system. This helps us navigate throughout the city, as well as uh, let dispatch know that we're responding and when we're responding. Um, so we have it uh, basically set up to be a touch screen, gives us the routes and shows us what type of call we're going on. Um, I'm kind of sitting on our laptop here, which is the same as all of our other medic units. GTAC, again, touch screen, helps us get patient information and uh, basic demographics. Um, let's see what else is in here. The radio's on this side and the medic phone. That's the same as all of our other medic units. We always have uh, in every seat a high-vis vest so that in case we are in a traffic scene or anytime we're in the street, throw the high-vis high vest on. Um, that's about it for that side. Um, this is a good spot to put our gear, our fire gear, just because if you're on this side it helps us put everything on faster. Um, besides that, we've got our pediatric kit, which is just smaller equipment for kids. And then we have a suction unit, the battery for our stretcher here, and then some extra stuff up above, like blood pressure cuffs and things like that. Um, that's about it in there. Then we'll go right into the main area. Still all smells like new car, which is actually nice. Um, up here we've got just our new NARC box, and that's a, again a touch screen that everyone has their own code to log in and get the medications out. And then the rest of this is just that same cabinet that we looked at, but this is from the inside. Other than that, we've got all of our airway stuff up here in a spot where we're all familiar with. It's just the same as all of our other medic units. And then we have um, some miscellaneous stuff here, glucose supplies. Over here we have our trauma stuff. So again, this is the same as any of our ambulances, so that if you're moving between ambulances, you're familiar with where things are. Um, yeah, trauma stuff, OP stuff, and then uh, air, um, sorry, IV stuff is over here in the same spot where we have all of our IV stuff on all of our medic units. Uh, let's see, one of the new features on this ambulance is the restraint system, um, four point harness type seat belts so that we can buckle up be safe but still be able to treat the patient by reaching and being able to you know take a blood pressure or start an IV maybe and things like that but I'm still buckled up safely here same thing on the bench seat there's two of those over there in this outside compartment we have our stair chair which helps us bring patients down from Upstairs, um, it actually has tracks. I guess I can pull it out and show you. This allows us to kind of bring the patient downstairs more easily. So the patient sits here, gets buckled up, and then they can slide down on the tracks. It makes it a lot easier to move downstairs, and it's much safer for everybody. Uh, we also have our auto pulse, which is a uh, uh, automated CPR device that Zoll makes and that is uh, again an easier way for us to do CPR more consistently and it also keeps us safe in the back of the ambulance we can have consistent compressions while we're still seat belted. Uh, we also have a scoop stretcher and a backboard. The scoop stretcher is kind of like a backboard but it's splits apart so you can kind of get two halves under the patient more easily if it's hard to move the patient or if they're uncomfortable because of uh, an injury and then Mega movers, which are basically just tarps, make it easier to move people. And then seat collars in the same spot as all of our other medic units, again, as well. Uh, moving on to the back. For anybody working on this medic unit, you have to move that step first. And then the striker stretcher comes out with very little effort, almost no effort. Push the button. And then you can release 
reduce it. Load the patient up, change it however we have to, and then load it up again. Green light means it's locked. And again, minimal effort going in as well. Push it in with just a couple fingers. And it's locked. Moving to the driver's side of the medic unit. This is where we keep our air packs. <clears throat> Two of them here on the door. Our passport tags for fires when we have to give our names to command. And then this is the other compartment where we can keep our fire equipment. Usually people like to separate it, one on each side. Other than that, there's just extra miscellaneous stuff up here. Some road flares, extra gloves, um, decon wipes in the back raft and things like that. This is just a good spot to keep whatever we need for the day. In here, we have our two fire extinguishers. We have our PFDs for water rescue. And then we have our throw ropes, which are also useful for water rescue. Uh, we also have a bunch of air splints and then a hair traction splint. And these are just different types of splints for different injuries. Uh, and then like tire chains and extra room in here as well. Um, let's see. Moving on to the next cabinet, we have our big oxygen tank. This feeds into the different ports inside the uh, main passenger compartment there. And this allows us to give a bunch of oxygen to patients who need it. We also have our irons here, which is a halogen and then a flathead axe. And then we have the bolt cutters. And then lastly, uh, big easy, we call it which makes it a lot easier to get into vehicles um, in case somebody locked their keys in their car or something like that. So we don't have to break a window or anything. Um, and then we'll move on to the driver's side here. So this is very similar to all of our other ambulances or medic units. <clears throat> We've got a key here, uh, which not all of them have, but this one does. We have our emergency lights our siren, and then our radio here as well. And this is our AVL, like I mentioned before, helps us navigate throughout the city and shows us where everybody is at this moment. All of this equipment helps us to protect the citizens of Arvada and it keeps us safe as well. So we're very happy with the uh, new Ambulance Medic 56.